and um, okay so we are on welcome everyone to this summer edition of the unit community hours i hope that all of you are having a nice summer even despite the well the COVID situation the agenda for today is quite short but it's still interesting i'm going to present how we, how you will be able to check the logs for sold ssh minions by default no workarounds anymore and then Mikel is going to talk about the application stream tabs for the modular channels. So my part is quite quick. Maybe you already noticed sometimes when you want to run things on a Salt SSH Minion or when you want to bootstrap a regular Minion or a Salt SSH Minion, there is some kind of error and you cannot immediately figure out what is going on and what is what you should be fixing that happened to me as well as well kind of developer and each time i needed to edit a special configuration file restart some services and whatnot and i decided to implement this by default for everyone so the nice thing is now when you are trying to bootstrap any kind of salt minion regular or salt ssh or when when you're running stuff on salt ssh minions at bar slash log slash salt ssh dot log you will find exactly the same things you would see at bar log salt uh, minion dot log by default the log level is going to be warning but you can still adjust that as you prefer. So if you want to have more debug information, you can change it, change it as you can change it at the at the file etc salt master d salt ssh login.conf. You restart salt or the services, and that's it. We have log rotation, which is the same we have for the regular salt logs. It's it, it is when it is running weekly and it will keep seven weeks of logs if you want to adjust that of course then you can just change the log rotate configuration and this log is not going to be removed if the client is removed from uyuni which is expected because it's the same we do for all other packages if you still want to remove it later then you can do that but maybe you want to debug something from the past or whatever else um i just noticed that i have a typo here, it says this will be available for Uni 2021.08, but no, 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 that is not right. It is going to be part of the next version, 2021.09. So sorry for this typo. Um, well, I guess it's time for some questions if you have any, maybe not, this topic is quite simple, but otherwise go ahead and ask whatever you want. Very good. If there are no questions, then I will give the floor to Michele. So Michele, I will stop uh, presenting and you can show your screen or slides. Now, why? one moment. Um, because the web UI interface changed while I was on holidays and now I cannot see how to stop presenting. Or Michele, maybe Michele, maybe you can just start presenting, and that will override my things. Okay, I can try. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yes, it's working fine. Okay, great. Okay, hi, good afternoon. Uh, okay, I don't have uh, slides. I directly present uh, as a demo this new feature. So as you said, uh, we implemented this new upstream tab uh, for the modular channel. Uh, so as you maybe know, uh, recently uh, Red Hat and CentOS have implemented this uh, new type of uh, repository that are modular repositories. Uh, so uh, application, uh, <coughs> 
So in basically, uh, a module uh, is uh, a collection of uh, different packages, uh, and uh, in a modular repository, more module can coexist in different version as a stream. Uh, so as you can see here, if you um, see the details uh, of uh, a modular uh, of the modular channel, uh, such as this one, uh, sent to SA upstream, uh, you would see this new tab uh, called upstream uh, that shows uh, as a table uh, the, the module name uh, and the stream name. Uh, here you can also see the, the blue one uh, that is the, the full stream uh, and uh, the light blue ones uh, that are the, the other streams available in the, um, in the repository. Uh, it, it's just it. Uh, another little brief features is uh, if you try to click uh, in a, in a module, uh, you would see um, the the package uh, the package that are present in that uh, modular modular repository is not exactly this part probably can be improved because uh, it does not represent uh, the package that I contain in that module. Uh, it's just uh, a package search for the same name, uh, but for example, in this case, uh, it can give an idea about the, uh, the package containing that uh, module. So yes, there is no other information for these features. So I don't know if there are any, any other question. And uh, if I'm not wrong, this is going to be part of the next release because it was merged after 2021-08, right? Exactly. Thanks. Yes, exactly. The next release uh, have, uh, will have this feature. So I see this in the channels. Can I see it from a system point of view to know what app streams are enabled? I, I guess no in this moment. Okay, it, it, we, we can do that, but uh, yes, in this moment it's not possible to know that uh, because uh, on the system point of view, everything is managed using the CLM, uh, so it to not be properly straightforward. But yeah, we, we can do that, I guess. Any other questions? Otherwise, we can go to the next thing, which is, as you know, as always, everything you want to ask, comment, complain, or whatever about uni. About what is going next, maybe some help you need with something, whatever is in your mind. Uh, maybe I can um, do a, a quick summary of what has been done for Google Summer of Code for Uyuni. So Google Summer of Code is wrapping up and we had one student that worked on converting the um, virtual systems page from JSP to React.js. It's not completely finished yet, but should be merged. Um, rather soon. Very good. Well, I guess that the, that for most users, it would be interesting to know what is the benefit of the migration from a user well, point of view, of course. <laughs> for the user point of view, there is zero benefit. No change is exactly the same page or well, almost. Uh, we just got rid of the tree view into a table view, but that's it. The main point of migrating away is to add, at some point, get uh, be able to get rid of um, the old Struts framework. So it's more yeah. a code refactoring, uh, developer-oriented re uh, refactoring than a user one. Which is also nice, of course, because we sometimes have i don't know today if we have contributors external contributors but yeah most of times we have them here at the at the community hours as well nice then i have another quick announcement from my side which is that uh, stefan blooms is still working very hard on bringing 
Uyuni server to work on top of, well, initially it was Zentos 8, but uh, more likely it will be on top of Alma Linux 8 because you know what the situation with CentOS 8 is. And it seems he's making good progress. So we don't have a timeline yet, but I know that the community is always asking when this will be ready, when this will be ready. I would say that maybe in a couple of months, we, we could have something that could work as a proof of concept. And at that, mo at that moment, I will invite everyone who's interested to give it a try and provide us all the feedback because this is something yeah, really interesting. And of course, in the meantime, if you want to help Stefan with this effort, then feel free to join the Devil mailing list or especially the Devil Guitar channel. I know I have a question. Uh, I know that um, there was some hack week work done on containerizing the proxy. Is that something that's getting picked up in U Uyuni or not? Well, um, it was just a pull request, so it it, it is not um, re-released or, or actually QA properly, to be entirely honest. It, it was a hack week project and uh, we didn't have the time so far to let me mature to the point of really proposing it to the uni community. It's something I, I look forward to in general, uh, all of the containerization effort, which has been kind of paused uh, lately, but I expect uh, it to pick up some steam, uh, at least among SUS employees um in the next um weeks and months so hopefully that will happen and uh, as soon as we have anything uh, people can play with we will certainly uh, push it out to the uni community present it here at the hours and welcome any kind of feedback sure and the reason i'm i was asking is because you know i mean if we if we had it in containers, then we don't have to worry about making proxy validated on other operating systems because you can just run it in container, right? So if we have sure. the ser server running on a Red Hat-ish 8 distribution, we don't have to worry about somebody also having to do proxy work to validate that if we can use the container for the proxy. Yeah, hopefully. But thank let's, you, Sylvia. Let's That's see what helpful. happens. Yeah, for now, what I can tell you is that the Stefan is focused mostly on the on the server, which is the most complicated part because, well, the specs need to be rewritten. Then some RPMs that are available at uh, OpenSUSE but not available at Gray hell ish systems, then they need to be provided, etc. etc. But as I was telling, the progress so far is being good. Yeah, in the future, if we can maybe instead of porting the proxy to CentOS, we can just provide it as a container, then that will be great. We will see. I was gonna complain about the PDFs being an older version, but they're fixed now. The the uh, quick start guide and the documentation PDFs are all nicely updated. Thank you for that. Mm, you mean at the website? Yeah, on the Uyuni project. When I did the install for the 2021-06, it was still the 2021-05 docs. But ah, yeah, well, at that version, yeah, it could be that the links were not updated. That could happen, yes. Okay. Yeah, in that case, if it happens next time, just drop an email or open an issue on the on the website repository, and it's something that I can quickly fix in five minutes. Okay. Okay. Any other 
comments, questions from the community? Very well. Then it seems that we are going to have a short session today, but that is not bad. So we will have another session in one month. Hopefully by that time, we all we will already have Fujuni 2021-09 released with more things that we, than we presented today. We have some other surprises there, maybe, maybe, Debian 11, which was recently released, will be available as well. We have someone from the community working on that together with me. And of course, if there is anything else, remember that we can still talk not only at the community hours, but at the mailing lists and at the guitar chat. Oh, one thing that, we, that did come up this week that we wanted to ask is, uh, about Prometheus exporters. Uh, if we were to uh, build the binaries for Prometheus exporters for Debian, uh, which would that uh, matter to you as Uyuni community? Anyone using Debian and can give us some feedback? Maybe not in the room, but I would still suggest asking the same at the mailing list. At yeah, the users mailing yeah, list. yeah, that's a good point. Okay. Very well. Then I wish you a very happy day, well, or <laughs> evening for some of you. And I will see you in one month. Remember that uh, I will upload the recording of this session yeah, later today, worst case, tomorrow morning, and it, it will be available at the YouTube channel as usual. So thank you very much for attending and see you soon. Bye bye. Thanks, Thank Julio. You. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye all. See Thank you. you. Bye. Cheers.